There are a lot of things no one told me when I started graduate school. How do you handle massive amounts of reading? How do you put out quality research papers week after week? How do you arrange your schedule so you can get everything done? But there are also some practical things that I wish I had known about. And I wanna talk about one of those today, PDFs. What's up guys, I'm Royce and you're watching Ipsy Dixit, a channel documenting my experience as an online doctoral student. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. So what is there to know about PDFs? Well, first of all, it means portable document format. I found that out right after I Googled it. Essentially, it's just a ubiquitous format that we see everywhere, which is what ubiquitous means, for sharing documents. But why does this matter? Well, one of the first things we learn as college students is that the quality of our sources matter. That means we can't just go Wikipedia something and use it in our research paper as much as I wish we could. And this means we end up doing a lot of research in academic databases and Google Scholar. And if you end up looking in any academic journals, which is where a lot of these databases will take you, you will wind up with a lot of PDFs. So now you've got these PDFs, what do you do with them? Read them. Duh. I know you're thinking, I didn't need to watch this video just to know that I needed to read PDFs. Everyone knows that. That's why you're doing research in the first place. That's where Adobe Acrobat comes in. This is a program that you use to view PDFs. Now, there are other programs, but I've never seen anyone use them. Anyway, there's a, there's a free version of Acrobat on the internet. You can download it, and it pretty much does everything you need, except one thing. It's useless when it comes to scan pages that have been made into a PDF. And I can guarantee you, you will come across those in your research a lot, at least I did. So when this would happen to me, I would come across these documents that had been scanned as PDFs. I would do one of three things. First, I would chuck it. Second, I would try and find another database that maybe had the same PDF, but had a text option that wasn't scanned. The third thing I would do is if I just really needed this source and I couldn't find it anywhere else, I would type out all my notes and quotes that I wanted to use in the paper that I was writing. The biggest issue here is you can't highlight and copy and paste the text. So you might find something you wanna use, you wanna come back to later, but there's no way for you to make a note of that. There's no way for you to write that down. You can like highlight the picture, but you can't take that text out of there. So you end up typing everything over and over and over and over again. So none of these really are bad options, but they're just all really time consuming. This is where Adobe Acrobat Pro comes in. It does something called OCR, which stands for Optical Character Recognition. And that just means that the software looks at this scanned document and it takes a picture and turns it into text, which means you can highlight and edit and copy and paste it. It's like magic. So sometimes they get it wrong and words get mixed up or made up. It really depends on the quality of the scan. So if you're looking at a document that's been scanned from like 1850 with like weird curly Q type letters, it's gonna have a harder time than something that was printed two weeks ago and then scanned. You're usually gonna get something usable out of it. You might just have to do a little guessing when it comes to some weird words. Using Acrobat Pro has saved me so much time. And I'm not getting paid to say this. I'm just trying to help you guys out. And I don't know how much time I wasted just typing things out that I could have just copied and pasted if I had Pro. So what about the cost? Acrobat Pro costs $15 a month. It feels a little steep, but Adobe gets that and it tries to help students out and it gives the whole Creative Cloud suite for just $20 a month. If you have a little extra in your education budget, it might be worth it. Everyone's experience is different, but I've found the ability to OCR PDFs extremely helpful and time-saving. And there are tons of other features that Acrobat Pro offers that you can take advantage of. Check it out for yourself and see if you find it valuable. There's a link down below in the description for a free seven-day trial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.